Hello everybody, the motivation for this uh, video came from this website and this website belonged to a big company called Wix and they wrote their um, website using React and I was looking on the website and I have React DevTools and I was looking at uh, this and uh, really was not able to understand what, what is going on. Okay, so I was looking here and and so props, but an anonymous and a memo and a Ford ref, and I was not able to to figure out what this T and O and E and everything stand for. I don't have uh, the source of this week's website, but I have source of my website, my website on production. Okay, so weeks and this website, my website, are both on production, okay, and, and on production you crea React create a special version, a build version, okay, but if you look on, on my website you also see this strange one letter items and forward ref and, and anonymous, okay, so, so first I want to show you that on development this is not the situation. Okay, so on development, this is uh, my website and you can see it also on GitHub and I will provide the link. But if I will look on this version on development, okay, so on development, we will see that we have the true component, app and router and top. If you look here, you see here only um, letters, okay? And here I have anonymous. And here I don't have, oh, I have here one anonymous. Okay, so, so first, what does this word stand for in production? And, and second, why? Why is it um, used like one one letter word? So the second uh, question is is um, is because this is a production version and on production in the JavaScript code is minified. So instead of using the the component full name, only a short version of the component name is used. So this is why we are getting here all these um, one letter component. But the question is, okay, how do I get the real name of this component? In my case, it's easy because we can go to the, to the source code, but for Wix, suppose I want to know what this T stand for and what this forward ref stand for and what this main memo stand for. So what, what do I do? What we can do is simply go here and there is an icon, view source for this element, and this will solve our problem. Problem, okay? So we can see that actually the T was the root element of Wix, and you can see here even the name of the file, and you can see that it is TypeScript file. So we can see it very uh, clearly. Uh, we have here a lot of props. <laughs> One of the props is named props. This is how we can see what is going on. And here for this anonymous component, we see this variable. And the forward ref that we saw is simply react.forward ref. Again, we have here TypeScript. And the memo here, we can look inside and we can see that this component is using react.memo and again, this anonymous an error function, a, a variable. So to sum it up, the letters here are instead of full component name because this is production version, it is minim, um, minimized. We can see exactly 
the name of the component by going using the view source and in the view source we can see the whole source of the component and this is it thank you